But topping our news this half hour, the investigation into a fire that killed a teenager in New Jersey. Demolition crews tore down that burned out house in Elizabeth earlier this evening. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang has more on the young victim's final moments. This is all that's left of a 10-unit rooming house after flames tore through here last night claiming a teenage girl. Well, I know she was still in high school. This was her last year of graduation. It's sad. I mean, if someone had to lose their life like this. Lorenzo Johnson has lived here the last four years. That's his mattress. Thankfully, he was out last night when the house turned into a fiery death trap. Not so fortunate, a 17-year-old tenant who was trapped on the third floor. I'm told her last cry for help on the phone was full of coughing and panic. She was found in the, um, she was in the closet. He heard her die, you know, she was coughing, and next thing you know, the phone just hung up. Flames broke out around 10 o'clock Saturday night here on William Street in Elizabeth, New Jersey. By the time firefighters got to the scene, the inside of the house was a massive inferno, already too far gone. Despite 100 firefighters responding, they could not get inside any door or window. They attempted to raise ladders to the upper windows for a report of a trapped occupant on the third floor. Unfortunately, uh, they were driven back by the uh, heat and the fire. We're told another tenant was able to jump out of a third floor window, land on a second floor roof, then roll to the ground. That tenant suffered a few broken bones, but is expected to survive. Two firefighters also treated for minor injuries. We're told this house was a legal rooming house. So far, no word on what started the blaze. In Elizabeth, New Jersey, Lucy Yang, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.